喷燃之后，多尔在世界杯女子 A 组第十场比赛。So as we are heading to this final game, Hope Akello, Jane Asinde, Rita Amini Shamwe, and Jamila Nancy Combi will lace them up against China. Who again, they uh, with their two losses to start uh, their second day of pool play. They will not be uh, moving on to the medal rounds. The number one team in the world for the ladies U23. Now two losses put them behind the eight ball. A loss to Hungary and a loss to Germany. So even though that uh, 18 to 8 win that they were able to get to uh, today to start their play won't be enough. Now, obviously, if if China beat Uganda here, then it becomes very easy to understand that the teams that will be going in will be Germany and Hungary. Again, both at three and one. The only thing that makes this interesting. Three-way tie would be Uganda. And Uganda on the board first. Shot from the corners missed. Nancy Kambi. Imanashimwe. Okello steps on the out of bounds line. So Uganda 17 11 win over Romania. 8 to 14 loss to Hungary. 15 to 13 win over Germany. Nine twenty-five. So just uh, 30 seconds into this one, just scratching the surface in a final game of pool play that has huge implications. <laughs> you can hear the China chants loud and proud. They would love to see the Chinese team upset Uganda. Oh, down and out. To one one. Not even one minute into this one. Ha starts with it. Here's Ma. Over the song. Down the high, but Nancy Combi wasn't having it. Gets in there and deflects the pass. Oh, nice move. Song. She's too hot. 3 1. Oh, Kello. Oh, she misses a layup. Point blank. Song. Down low. Ma. Banging. But it's. Oh, three in the key is called. She was banging too long. Pull up. It's no good. I seen that. Couldn't find the stroke on the shot. So Uganda trails it by two. Minute and a half into this one. Oh, Nazi combo with the harassing defense. Imanashimwe, interior feed. Oh, what a shot. 
off balance, nearly falling to the ground. Asinde still got it to go, but China takes a little bit of wind out of Uganda's sails after a tough make with a tough bucket of their own, but take a look at the replay. Contorts her body and still got it to go off the glass. But Asinde is trailing by four, by two right now, pending this free throw. Make that three, five to two. You starts with it. We'll see. Uh, we'll see you. She representing uh, the ladies in the two point shootout final tomorrow. She and Laura Zadrewska, who we just saw a previous game representing Germany, they'll be repping the women and uh, competing for a gold medal against the two men, Ranjay Abarientos of the Philippines and Alexander Antonikovsky of Russia. More important things at hand right now, though, for China and Uganda. As Uganda need to get some offense going. Oh, Song hit Nancy Kami with the cross and is capped off with the two-piece. Crossed her like some shoestrings. Seven to three. The drive and the kick. And the two-point marks woman cashes in to give China a seven to three lead. Again, China, if they get a win here, there won't be any confusion or any need to go to any tiebreaker scenario. As the, we'll know the two teams going into the medal rounds. The miss, ha! Oh, fouled on the shot. They ain't ready for me. 17 left, high at the strike. China off to a hot start. Made even hotter by the made free throw. Eight, three, lead, Imana Shimwe. Lost it up, comes up empty. China back in business. Hadama to Yu Shi. She shoots and misses it. Imana Shimwe. She's fouled by Ma, pushing the back. So both teams get a break. So far, China is breaking off Uganda. They've opened up a five-point lead. Uganda has made some tough buckets, but every offensive possession made difficult by the Chinese defense. Playing for pride here in front of the, uh, the home fans. A little bit disappointed in how they've played. Again, getting off to that 0-2 start, the first taste of pool play. Put them uh, behind the eight ball. Meantime, you saw the Chinese men team looking on. They're good to go. We'll see them in the uh, in the medal rounds. Four fouls on Uganda, three on China. China with a four-point cushion as Nazi Kambi almost has it stolen. Akelo with the drop step. She misses. Imana Shimwe recovers. She misses. Akelo, though, right in right place, right time. But not the right amount of touch on the shot. So it's missed. And so is the two from Yishu, but Song Sky's in there for the rebound.
Yushi starts at top of the key. Ha. Going to work. Got to keep the ball to go to work. She loses it, Imana Shimwe. Misses it to the left. Song. She's been fun to watch. Three in the key called though. As Ha got caught sleeping. She was, she was busy watching Song too. All eyes on Song when uh, this Chinese team is on the court. She brought the crowd to their feet with some, with some spectacular plays here in Xi'an. That one uh, out of bounds to Uganda. Four seconds left on the shot clock. They got to get something up quick. Go oh, Nazi Kambi, the runner. Stills up. Stays an eight to four game. Yushi to Ma to Song. Four minutes passed. That's who you want to get an open look. Oh, Song. Nine four. Where them hops come from? Look again. Song shows off the bunnies on the big rebound. So you, she will have it. Top of the key now. You, she know where to go with it. Not a bad place to get it as Ma spins. Doesn't have a touch, but foul whistled on a Sunday. Free throws good. China's lead is out now at six. Uganda within four, six to ten game. That is until that happened. Yu Shi does into a half dozen. Five minutes to play. Nancy Kambi. That is a big make. Four point game. Keeps Uganda alive in this one. Oh, long ball, song missed. Oh, tied up. Nice effort from both teams with 438 left in the game. Uganda with no fouls to give. China with a couple. And China with a four point advantage, most importantly, Oh, nice pass on the inside. Asinde uh, makes it a three-point game. Oh, Song and one. Look again. Rips through Asinde's arm. Draws the foul in the process. And she'll get two free throws as that uh, puts Uganda in a penalty. 
Tough situation with four minutes and 24 seconds left. And they can't foul. Each defensive one the rest of the way will give China two opportunities at the strike. Oh, good board. Song wide open. Missed it. Oh, but look at Akelo going up to get the uh, rebound. I think that's going to be a foul whistle on China, which is five. Here's Song working with, oh, oh, she just left her. She left her in the trunk. Nazi Kambi blinked and uh, Song was gone. 5-9 game, Akelo can't get Uganda in the double digits. Oh, no travel there. So a break into action. Look back at uh, some of the hard fought buckets in this one. And our final pool play game. It's been a fun run through the pool phase. Seeing the teams that elevate themselves to the medal rounds. There's one of them right there for the men. The Chinese fellas getting their business handled. Suffered a, a loss to the Philippines at the final game of the day yesterday. But they had started off 3-0, so there's no problem for them. They into the medal rounds, along with Hungary and their pool. We'll show you, uh, we'll show you both brackets, obviously, at the end of uh, the conclusion of this game. As this one will, uh, will determine the final say in terms of who goes in. Uganda's not done yet. They're only down by four. And plenty of time left, three minutes and 40 seconds. As Nazi Kombi streaks in there, steals the ball, and uh, three seconds in the key is called. So Uganda not really in position to be turning it over in any way. Get caught sleeping in the paint. Play is uh play is stopped here. They want to make sure. Now the shot clock should be nine. Song, quick move. Oh, she did Nazi Khan be dirty like the floor mat. 16-11, five-point lead for China. As they look to end Uganda's hopes of forcing a three-way tie. Anytime it's song, kicks it wide open and wet it, Yushi. 17-11. China with the six point advantage. Nazi Kambi. She got caught with her head down, wasn't looking at the shot clock, and turns it over to the Chinese who are four points away from getting the W, which again will mean nothing for China, it will mean everything for Uganda, as it'll end their chances of getting into the medal rounds. So two thirty three officially left on the clock. 
Uganda, they got 11 points, but they would need 11 points and a win to pass Germany. And a win is looking even more dim right now. Imana Shimwe makes it a two possession game. Not done yet. Not quite. Nazi Kambi gets it to Imana Shimwe. Imana Shimwe off the front of the rim. Ma tracks it down, under two minutes to play. Oh, and a big double dip. 19 to 13. China within two of winning it. And the shot is missed by Imana Shimwe. The, sh the short jumper is short. Buck 31 left. So Germany probably breathing a sigh of relief as they watch China dominate this game. How about Song? Throughout this uh, this tournament, through group play, as China has looked more like the number one team in the world U23 here this final day of pool play as opposed to day two of pool play. When we saw him for the first time. Oh, Song, she brought the crossover out. And you for the knockout punch. She whiffs. Now Song, driving kick. This would end it. Bottoms. China with a win. You hear the roar of the crowd as they go undefeated on this last day of pool play. Had it not been for that slow start, who knows, but they follow up a win, an 18-8 win over Romania with a 21-13 W over Uganda, which ends their hopes and seals the spots in the quarterfinals for Germany and Hungary. And that's it.